you show up like really polished and that you're up I thought I'd start out uh, just acknowledging some of our distinguished guests today. I know we had a couple of representatives from Senator Wyden's staff and Senator Berkeley hoping to make it, but uh, I think there's somewhere between the other gates in here. Uh, but we also have a legislative director uh, for Representative Greg Smith, Dawson Clinton, is here to join us today. Former Oregon Adjutant General, uh, Mr. Raymond F. Reese, and his wife, Mary Lynn, and son, Christian. Christian, thanks for, I think, you get the longest distance travel award today. Thanks for coming out and joining us. <laughs> Obviously, Navy Captain Eric Hanks for coming down from Woodby Island to join us. Uh, we also have Mayor Turner uh, here and a number of local leaders and representatives. Of Apollo, the primary team lead, is a Native American-owned business based out of Kennewick. Their firm's ability to find solutions to the unique challenges of the pandemic made it clear why they won the contract. They listened to the end users and created a facility that meets all the administrative and training requirements for 28 soldiers before RQ-7 shadow UAVs. The $13 million project employed almost 200 people in its development and construction. It includes a controlled waste facility, flammable materials facility, its own water and septic, and a 50,000 gallon water storage tank fire suppression. The high energy efficiency design includes a 25 kilowatt solar array to reduce environmental impact and a minimum 50 year service life for this building. 20 years of collaboration and hard work has produced an installation that will be used for generations to come. I look forward to the future accomplishments of the service members who will have the privilege to train here. Thank you again all for joining us today. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome Captain Eric Hanks, Commander, Naval Air Station, Whitby Island. I really appreciate the professionalism, the strong partnership that we have with the Oregon Military Department, especially Mr. Todd Farmer, who worked diligently with at least four to five different Naval Air Station, Whitby Island COs, uh, to make sure we understand the vision of, for the Oregon Military Department's use and activities on the Boardman Range. The Boardman Range is an important national strategic level asset for our country's defense. It is the only restricted airspace in the Northwest that allows for advanced, low-level aviation training of our warfighters to include tactical jet aircraft, helicopters, and unmanned assets. From the Navy, the Army and Air National Guard, the Army, Air Force, Marine Corps, and Special Operations Units. The range is restricted and special use airspace allow for advanced integration of weapon systems, including manned and unmanned training. I look forward to what in, in, innovation brings to increase safety to our nation's volunteer warfighters while increasing their warfighting capabilities and warfighting effectiveness using state-of-the-art technology. I think a lot of us can see how this tremendous state, uh, state-of-the-art operating facility located right here within the Boardman Range Special Use Airspace will prove valuable for many decades into the future. And uh, I thank you for attending today's event and uh, appreciate the opportunity. <laughs> we will now conduct the ribbon cutting ceremony. On the count of three, General Stencil and Captain Hanks will cut the ribbon. Everyone count with me. One, One two, three. three. 